shop owner has buyed in the Santa or in any right bazaar. Ekki jaya pemi ke. Most type of plastic so known as thermal setting plastic. Comparison, there are three types. Up, down, right, left. Not inferior to anyone. We are Clara. Okay. You are top on the hour. Congratulations. I want to be a leader. Good afternoon to all the principals, teachers and my dear students. Welcome to the show, The English Doctor. I am so happy that you are all enjoying this program and hugely, immensely benefited out of this. I was told that many of you are taking notes and try to learn the words which you are seeing on the screen is a very good sign. So, go on take notes, make it a part of your life, make it a part of your vocabulary and these words will become handy for you, useful for you when you sit for examinations. So, I wish you all the best. So, let us come to the show, the English doctor. So, before I go into the show, I want to introduce you to one of a beautiful Swaro with me here. She is Ribka from R.K. Puram. Hi. Ribka, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. And uh, today, uh, Ribka will be hosting the show. There is a little difference. I will be only coming now and then. More than 40, 50 percent, Ribka will be running the show. Okay. So, Ribka. Uh, yes, do you sir. want to start or do you want to tell something to your friends? Yes, sir. Yeah. How useful is this English doctor program? Yeah, this is a wonderful program. It's an English doctor program and we can learn how to speak English and we can write our ex exams very well. So, you should always note the things what you are going in English doctor program okay. and be success in your life. Right. And what is the first word we are going to see? Okay, These words friend. are often confused, right? Yeah. Okay, friends, look at the screen. Yeah. We ha here we have two words. They are a lot and a lot. Firstly, I want to go. I'm going to explain about a lot. It's a, a lot. A lot. Okay. It's a it's a noun, and it means a large extent, a large amount, in a large number. And the opposite of a lot is a little. For example, we can say that a lot of food was left over the party. After the party. After the party. Right. And a lot is also an adverb. It, it means to a great extent or to a great degree. Okay friends, the second word is a lot. A lot means it is a verb and it means distribute proportionality or divide to give out. For example, you need to allow a lot of time for practice maths. And also another example is that each speaker was allotted 10 minutes to speak. Very good. And as we see in Ignite competitions, for elocution they allotted 3 minutes to speak. Oh, very good. So, a lot means, a lot means a number. number. It is the first yes, number. Sir. Right. Yes. Uh, a lot means set aside. Yes. You are, give, you are allotted 45 minutes yeah, for yeah. Mana TV for program. Yeah, yes, sir. On Ignite, very good example you have okay, saved. Thank okay, you, sir. Very good example for, uh, you said Ignite pro, uh, uh, program, each team is allotted, allotted. sometimes, set yes. aside. Right. And what is the next word? Okay, friends, look at the screen. The next word, e the next two words are exceed. It is an verb, mm. it means to agree or allow, assume an office or position. So, for example, she finally exited to accept the presidency of the company. And we can say in other examples that the government did not accede 
to the strikes demands strikers demand strikers yeah. demand okay and the next example is akbar acceded to the throne in 1556 okay so uh, let me also come in uh, chip in and yes. say that uh, i will elaborate that point uh, accede means to allow somebody yes or or another meaning is that uh, to take over an office for example very good example you said yes. akbar acceded the throne on 1556 50. you know about akbar who is akbar who is akbar Akbar he's was a king. Uh, he was a king. king. Well, yes, was a uh, third Mughal king. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, he's one of the very famous Akbar, Akbar the Great. King. They say. Yes. Right. And what is the next word? Okay, friends. Next word is that exceed. It is a verb. It means to go beyond, to surpass, or to surpass. Yeah. And uh, for example, the number of points exceeded his previous record. That means we can say that added or. Uh, as in this example as compared to previous record some other uh, points were added that means exceeded 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 right and another example also that i exceed my allowance hmm. and the car exceeded the speed limit yeah go beyond go beyond surpass. yeah the car uh, suppose the car speed was supposed to be 60 it goes 120 so exceeded, exceeded the speed the limit exceeded the speed yes and you know our uh, government uh, buses Mm. They have got a specific speed limit. Yeah, yes. Okay, they, they, they are controlled by a device called speed governors. Mm. And if the driver try to press it also, the speed won't go. Yeah. But there are in highways, for example, I'm seeing the highways, yeah. you'll find some signboard saying yes, speed limit. Yes. 40 km per hour ah. or 50 km per hour. And some vehicles, if they go beyond that, you say, the car, that vehicle has exceeded the limit. Yeah, yes. Right? Yes. So the, now we have two words, exceed and exceed. Exit. Very good. Yes. Now, uh, so I hope the, your friends might have uh, yes. noticed this difference between exceed and exceed. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Next yes. one is. Okay, friends, look at the screen. Yeah. The next words are elude and elude. Elude. Yeah. Elude and, and elude. elude. Okay. Okay. Let's be explain about elude. It's a verb that means to add, to suggest indirectly or imply. Imply. Mm -hmm. Imply. For example, in our daily life, we may tell that uh, if we fought with our friends, they allude us. Mm. They allude us, for example, in a, uh, to understand easily. Yeah. And example, so, can we say an example, the poet about an example uh, yeah. allude? Mm. Example is that the, point, the poet allude to the struggle for India's independence in his poem. Okay. That means the poet made a mention yes. of it. He, he implied through his poem about India's independence struggle. That is mentioned indirectly yes. or that is suggest indirectly. Uh, what is the noun form of uh, allude? Allusions. E al allusion. Allusion yes. means noun. The allusion of the poem is very good, you say. Yeah. So, the, usually this is used by the poets and the writers. Right. And the next word is? Allude. Elude. Elude. Oh, very good word it is. Elude. Elude. Yeah. It is a verb and the uh, it means to dodge or escape. Yeah. For example, luck always seemed to elude him. And yeah. we can also say that the more we try to know God, the more. The more we try to know God, uh, the more the he more eludes us. Yes. Or another example is the, the thief, thief eluded, eluded the, the police. police. Okay, now let me uh, once again come to uh, El the elude. Yes, elude sir. means you escape, try to dodge. Yes. Not uh, trying to or try to escape by dodging. You know, yes. dodging means when they football, you dribble the yeah, yes, ball. Sir. That's called dodging. Dodge. Now, you, one example you said is the more you try to know God, the more He eludes us. Some people, you know, we want to know God. Why God is like this? How, what is the form of God? Why is He like this? We have a lot of sufferings. The God is seeing. Yeah. Every day we are praying. But we yes, still sir. say. But the more we try to know, there are many people, in, including Swami Vivekananda. Yes. They wanted to, f He wanted to find God. Yeah. What actually is God? But then every time he tried to find a solution to the problem, God eluded him. Yes. God escaped him. Yes. It's a mystery. God is a mystery actually. Yeah. We cannot see that this is God, this is God. Yes, sir, Physical really. form, we cannot go. So, now in the example, please look at the example once again. Okay, friends, look at the example. So, look at the look once again. Yes. The more we try to God, know God, the more mm -hmm. he eludes us. There you notice something is called he. There you will find a word called he. he. Now, it is written in capital letter. 
Ribka, you know what does it mean? Why we have kept it in a capital letter he? Yes, sir. It is wrong to keep a capital letter in between the sentences. No. Yes, it is yes, wrong. Yes, it, it is wrong. But, but in this sentence, it is good. What? Because uh, God is only one. So, only we keep one. capital letter. Yes, whenever we write capital yes. letter G, God. Yes, sir. He always, next, we have to mention him with a capital letter he. Because here we are referring to the only one powerful God. And if you make it a G, a small letter, we have yes. more than, um, as per the Hindu mythology, we have more than 36 crores of gods are there. Yes. So, gods, if you write, you need not write he, he. there, one of the gods. Yes. Shiva is a god, Vishnu is a god. So, G is capital, small letter there. Now, when you write a capital letter G, this is for extra information to the viewers. Yes. When you write G, capital letter, we refer to God, the only one God. G, capital letter, the yes. more powerful God, whom are we called? Only one God. Right? And the all powerful also, mighty God. So, when we mention him, you have to mention he. Yes. And when you mention one of the gods with a capital small letter, we have to mention he in a small letter. Yes. Right? Okay. And also the thief eluded the exa police. police. Very good example you yes, have given. Sir. Yes. Very good example. Right. What is the next word? Okay, friends, look at the screen. Next word. Next two words are elution and illusion. Very good. First, let me go on elution. Yeah. An elution, it's a noun form and it means a figure of speech that makes a reference to a place, person or something that happened. It is giving a reference to a place, person or something that happened. So, it is an illusion. Okay, let's go on example. That is, Rita made an allusion to the most recent novel she read in our conversation yesterday. Okay, so uh, let me explain that once again. Uh, uh, help okay. you to explain that. So, okay. it's a figure of speech. Means usually uh, used by the writers, the poet. You wanted to show something. So uh, it's a figure of speech, as you said, and make a reference to some place or a person. Okay. So, uh, example, you said Rita made an allusion to the most recent novel. So, she was referring to an incident, then she yes. made a reference to that. So, when you allude means you you describe somebody. Allusion. Allusion. Yes. Now, what is the next word is? Illusion. Illusion. Yeah, yes. Look at the meaning of the word illusion. Yeah. Yeah. Illusion. An illusion. It is a noun form and it means a decep deception, mirage or a wild idea. Very good. For example, an erroneous concept or belief. Yes. An example is? Yeah. Coming to the example, the no, the notion that money can buy happiness in is an illusion. Yes, illusion is a mirage. Yes, sir. Uh, in Telugu, I don't know what you call it, but you know uh, it escapes you. You cannot say yes, it is there. Sometimes you know when you walk during the summer. Yes. You will find other end of the road there is water. Ah, yes, right? sir. And you also you have this feeling when you go to a desert. Hmm. That's why some of the travelers in the desert they run, they run. They think that water is on the side. Yes. Very clear. When you walk in the, during the summer or on a hot day, when you walk on a straight line road, you will find when there is a little incline, little height, yes. you will find as though there will be water. There is a reflection of water. Oh. It is called a mirage. Right? In the yes. desert also you have mirage. So, we will walk to that, think that we will get some water. But when you go there, it won't be not oh, there. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. Um, so, I think uh, endamamulu, I think you call in Telugu. Ah, end yes, endamamulu. So, it's a kind of illusion. Right? That's the meaning of that illusion. The, for example, uh, you are explaining that notion that money can buy happiness yes. is an illusion. Right? So, can we buy happiness with the money? No. You can buy anything on yes. earth. There are certain things we cannot buy. Like we cannot buy our parents, we yes, cannot buy sir. our relatives, we cannot buy happiness. Happiness has to come from within. When you do good to others, yes. when you are an honest person, you will be happy. Yes. Right? When, you, uh, uh, when you shout at somebody or when you are dishonest, you will not, will not be happy. Happiness. Okay? Yes. So, when you think that I got a lot of money, I will be happy. No, it is an illusion. Yes. yes, very good. I will the next word now. Okay, friends, coming to your next two words, almost and most. Yeah. Okay, let us see about almost. Almost is an adjective. It means nearly all, nearly all. I think you all understand easily. And uh, I think you use this word every day. Yes, sir. Almost every day. Yeah, almost, almost everyone. Suppose your teacher asks you, "Did everyone come?" 
Yeah, yes, madam, or yes, sir. Almost oh. everyone came here, sir. Yes. What do you mean by that? Nearly all of Nearly them. Nearly all. But not all. Okay. Not all 100 percent. Yes. Say, for example, 90, 95 to 95 percent, you say almost everyone. Uh, and we also tell that almost all work will be completed, ma'am. Uh, yes. yes, almost all the work will be completed, ma'am. You say, example, you say, we example go swimming. Is, example is that we go swimming almost every day, every evening. Mm. Yes, and another example, friends, almost all my friends have graduated from college by now. Yeah, suppose you wanted to say that, yes, so because you have a backlogger, you yes. failed in several times in a school, and you say, but your friends will go up, they pass the examination, they go up and say, all my, my friends might have graduated by now, almost. Almost. Only an example, almost simple example. Okay. Yes. What is the next word? Okay, friends. Next word, uh, most. It is a superlative of more. Yeah. And the meaning is that the greatest or to the highest degree. It means it's a great, uh, it's an... Uh, it is great in its degree or number, we yes. can say easily. Yeah, there are superlative degree, yes. comparative degree, positive degree. There are yes. three de degrees of comparison they are called. Positive, comparative and superlative. superlative. And this is a superlative degree, most. Yes. So, one is, for the first word was almost All. and this word was? Most. Most. Okay. Ex now, so yeah, what is the example? Example is that Satish is the most intelligent boy I know. Yeah, most. most. So, you have used the superlative degree here. Yes. My mother cooked a most, most delicious, delicious supper. Okay. So, the next word is? Okay, friends. Next two words are alternately and alternatively. Right. Okay. Let us see about alternately. It is an adjective. It means taking turns to interchange repeatedly. For example, the children worked alternately so neither of them would get too tired. And also another example is that we alternately rode and walked the distance. Okay. We alternately rode and walked the distance. distance. So, means one after another. Yes. One step, then you will run. Then again, you say alternatively you have walked. For yes. example, you want to ride a, a, donk, uh, or a horse. You say some of them, sometimes you rode on them, on, on the donkey, uh, on the horse, horse. Then you walked for some time. Yes. So, alternative. interchange, alternatively. So, that is for alternatively. See, yes. very often sometimes that word alternatively we can yes. write it. Yes. You stand alternatively. Yeah. One girl, one boy, alternatively ah. stand. Or alternative you arrange this one. Okay. This alternative in maths also use alternative yes. arrangements. Okay. What is the next word? Next word is alternatively. Okay. It is an adjective and it means an option. Okay. Very good. An option. Or a choice. Yes. Instead of. Instead of choice. Okay. Choice. Okay. okay for example, Instead of going by train, we could have gone alternatively by car. Yeah, we can use this instead of. Like um, it has given uh, example that is, instead of going train, it may be good uh, if alternatively by car. Okay. We are taking option whether yeah, we have two, train Yeah, we have two car. options. Yes, yes, very good, very good. We have two options. Yes, sir. Either go by train or, or car. by car. Yeah. So alternatively. Alternate. Yeah, very good. Okay. Yes. Next turn. Um, Alternatively, as one of the players was injured, the coach made alternative arrangements. Yes. Okay. Suppose yes, you don't have uh, uh, water in your tap. Yes. What is the alternative arrangement the principal will make? Will use another. No. They, she will call for a ah. uh, uh, tanker. She will come and pour in the, in the tank. Yes. So, alternative arrangements. Ah. Okay. Suppose suddenly you don't have uh, some food. So, at once. Alternate arrangement has to be made. Yes. You cannot go starving, right? Yes. Sir. So the principals are very kind. So at once okay. they'll make some alternate arrangement for you okay. because they have a responsibility of looking after you. So they always say, "Ah, sir, alternative arrangement is being made, are being made." Okay. What is the next word? Okay. Next two words are alter and alter. Oh, very good. Two As we are observing here, yeah. the two words pronunciation is same, but no. the spelling is different. The, yes. One okay. is A L T A R. Another one is A L T E R. Ah, yes. Very often, I think most of the students, including adults, yes. are getting confused with these words. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, the first word is called a table used in services in a church. When you go to a Christian church, yes, sir. you will find a big table, table there in front of offering that. Offering some. Ah, that is kind of actually the preacher stands there or they give some offerings onto the table. Yes, that is called an altar. The priest conducted the ceremony at the altar. It's a very simple thing. Yes, uh, sir. That's uh, it's only a Christian Step. word. It's right. Next one is altar. Alt. Yeah. Can you tell about altar means? Yes, sir. Mm. Altar means it's an verb, and it means to change. 
For okay, yeah. So I will ask you then. Um, suppose you go to a shop and your dress, you found it when you're coming home, you found that it's very too loose for you. Okay. Then what do you do? I alter the dress. Yeah, alter it. You go back yeah. to the shop, you and give I the tailor and you alter it. Yes. Means you change. Suit to your size. Yes. That is called altering. Alter. Okay. So if you find that your new dress doesn't fit you well, you should alter it. Alter. Very good. And also, sir, in the before example, we say yeah. that uh, in first sentence, first word, mm. and alter. Mm. In the second, to alter. Oh, we very good. We should also think about this. Yes, difference. and alter means it's a noun. Yes, sir. And here means verb. verb. And it means always refer to a number. Noun. And, and, and alter. Yes. Two means always refer to a verb. verb. That's a simple uh, uh, topic uh, Ripka has given to you. And means a number. So, its yes. number can always come with a noun. Yes. Two means always a verb to do something. Very good. Okay, what is the next word? Okay, sir, will you explain? Ambiguous and ambivalent. It's a little difficult word, but yes. very easy once you understand this, it's very easy. Ambiguous. So, let's see the box. Ambiguous means an adjective. Now, by the way, adjective is a word which qualifies a noun or says something about a noun. Adjective. It's a part of speech. Okay. How many parts of speech are there? There are some eight, eight part parts of speech, of speech are there. So, this adjective is one of the part of speeches. Yes. I am sure that all your friends will know what is part of speech. Yes, and sir. all the teachers of English may be teaching them also all the part of speech. Yes. Uh, always English class always most probably they will be yes. starting with, now, uh, with uh, Parts uh, of part of speeches, grammar and all that. So, having one more possible interpretation or meaning difficult to understand or classify. Now, ambig ambiguous means very difficult to understand. Suppose I talk to you in uh, BIM theorems big uh, scientific you are yes. in class 10th suppose i talk to you about rocket science and big big theorems do you understand no, that no sir so i should explain to you very very simple, simple terms simple language simple language then you will understand yes so then you say sir is uh, it's very ambiguous uh, topic sir i uh, don't understand so it's not possible to interpret or not possible to understand that is okay. ambiguous okay. okay now the next word is ambivalent yeah, ambivalent. Ambivalent means having mixed feelings or contradictory ideas about something or someone. someone. Uncertain things. Some loved her. Uh, example, ah, some yes. loved her, some, some hated, hated her. Few were ambivalent mm -hmm. about her. Means they had mixed feelings. See, yes, some hated. That is one section. Yes. One loved her and one said neutral. Yeah. Some were not uh, mixed feeling, ambivalent about her. So yes. They do not know what to think about. Some were sympathetic, not very sympathetic. Okay. Next. Amoral and immoral. immoral. This is also quite a confusing word. Amoral and immoral. They are all sound similar, but meanings are different. different. Amoral means having no principles at all, good or bad, lacking yes. or moral sense, unconcerned with the rightness or wrongness of something. Example, he is all totally amoral. He is neither helping, either helping others or uh, helping, helping himself, himself at, at their, their expenses. expenses. She is an amoral selfish person pursuing her own goals oh. amoral it's an adjective again yes, i told you adjectives of word which qualifies a noun or tells something about a noun oh. so having no principles at all see yes, as a human beings we should have a lot of principles but unfortunately some people some unscrupulous elements they call it unscrupulous elements yes, yes. that is very bad persons yeah. criminals men with evil intentions or uh, women with evil intentions yes. they are called unscrupulous people they have no morality at all yes so they say they are amoral, amoral. they have no morality at all yes so when we live in a community when you live in a society we should have some moral principles yes but there are many people out in the world we brand them as criminals yes where do they go criminals Jail. They go to jail, right? And then when the police catch them yes. and charge them, and uh, they take it to the court, and they will go to the jail. They so don't know people. the moral values. Yes, they yeah. don't have morality. If you are a moral person, you will be helpful to others. You Humanity. Will, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, she is such an amoral person. That's an example. Now, next example is immoral. Next, immoral. Uh, bad or lacking good principles. Yes. Okay. Right. Can you explain the example? Yes, sir. Mm. Example is that he was dismissed from the college due to his immoral activities. Uh, yeah, as we listen many times this topic, sir. Yeah, immoral, uh, immoral, yeah. immoral. It is also indiscipline activities like. Yeah. Somewhat, it, almost. Uh, almost indiscipline activities, yes. that is, which are not allowed. Yes, sir. Which are not allowed by the society. Which broke the rules and regulations. Yes, which broke the Yes, exactly. Yes. 
So, that is called immoral, immoral. activity, immoral activities, bad activities, yes. people usually say something bad, yes. something has to be done in public, some has to be done in private. So, whenever you do this bad activities in public, it will become immoral, Yes. right, okay. Next one to is amount and number. number. I am sure that uh, are you good in maths? Yes. Yes, sir. Somewhat. Okay, somewhat. Yeah, yeah, somewhat. Okay. So, amount and number. Can you tell? Is it something with mathematics? Yes, sir. Yes. Amount means a quantity of something, especially the total of a thing in number or hmm. size or value or extent. Okay. It is amount. It deals with total of the things in number or a size. It means uh, coming to your physics or uh, it's volume, oh, like very mass, good. volume. Yes, amount. And, yeah, it is amount. Yeah, so you can can we count it? Yeah, no, sir. No, amount no. of money. Amount of amount of yes. water, volume. You yes, can't count it. Yes, we won't it. count it. Yes, amount. It is, is infinite. Is infinite. Yes, mm -hmm. very good. It's infinite. Okay, yeah. very good. For example, yeah, a large amount of money or work happiness. Yeah. A large amount of money or a work, work or a happiness. happiness. I have, uh, sports gives enormous amount, amount of, of pressure, pressure to many people. Yes. For time pass, you know, that's one of the pastimes or hobby they play. It gives us a lot of happiness. For some, it will be indoor activities. Yes. For some, it may be a gardening. Yes. Sir. Okay, gardening or cooking for some. So it's a kind of amount of happiness, amount of pressure they will derive from that. Yes. They are called hobbies, right? For example, also you can say that. Sports gives us amount of energy. Yes. Okay. Okay. Next one. Can you explain this? Yes. Number. Yeah. It is a noun. It means the sum or total or count or aggregate of a collection of units, mm. a mathematical object used to count. Okay. Very good. As we all know, uh, in our mathematics, very important. Daily we use numbers, numbers, numbers. Oh, so number is very important. Yeah. Number is very important. Okay. It's for sum of a total. And we can calculate if, for example, a daily example budget, yeah. family budget. Mm. As coming to family budget, we uh, with the numbers only we uh, we calculate our family budgets, and we'll be plan our uh, plan the oh. uh, family budget. Okay. Yeah, expenses. Oh, excellent! Yes. Very good, very good, Monica. Okay, very good. You explain number very well. So it's yes. something to do with the mathematics. Yes. Okay, let us go to the next one. Sir, amused, you explain amused and yes, I will explain bemused. that. Amused and bemused. So, give a try. What do you mean amused? Give a try to that. Let me say. When I say a humorous story, yes, sir. What do you get? You will get uh, happiness Happy. or sad? Happy. Yes, yes, yes. So, it's something like when, funny, I think. Yeah, very good. Yes. It's something like funny. So, amused means when I give a, a, a when you see a monkey playing. Yeah, yes, sir. When some when you play some kittens playing. Yes. You are amused. Yes, sir. So you don't go away. You yeah. look at. Uh, what is happening? Yes. You just look at them, isn't it? Yes. So it is called amusing. Okay. So and look at some them. expressions in some people's. Yes, yes. Look at the board. You know, I'll explain that. Amused means to find something funny when something is entertaining. Yes. Entertaining means it gives you a lot of uh, happiness. Happiness. The children were amused by watching the kitten play. Yes. He made faces to amuse her. Yes. So you will make a lot of faces like yes, this, sir. like this, then you will definitely will be uh, amused. Amused. Okay. Next word is bemused. Bemused means just opposite to that. Yes. Bemused, puzzled. You get confused. You will get bewildered. It's a, it's a verb. Okay. S e s e d is there. Yes, bemused. Sir. Bemused. Okay. So puzzled, confused, or bewildered. Yes. You get confused. You will get puzzled. We laughed at her bemused expression. So you will have some confused, <laughs> confused expression. We'll la laugh at you will laugh at it. So yes. that's kind of entertainment, entertainment for you. Yes, sir. We were um, bemused by the unexpected ending to, to the, the movie. movie. Yes. Okay. Very good. Next is. Next two words are uh, annual and annual. Okay. Why don't you explain the first word? Yeah. Annual, annual means per a year. Yes. Occurring in once, once in a, a year. year. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, for example. The, uh, the sponsored walk became an annual event. Annual event, okay. Annual event. Yeah, okay. Do you have an annual event in our schools? Yes, sir. What are the annual events in our schools? Um, we celebrate farewell party. Uh huh. Then very good. Very good. When the seniors go away. Day, yeah, Republic Day. Yes. Then anything else? Mm. Something is going on recently. All of you are excited to participate in that. What's that? What is that? All of you are excited.